there, what is going on YouTube, Foxy, welcome to you guys here with a brand new video, and in today's video, we are going to be covering one of the brand new weapons that is in Call of Duty World War 2. There's five new weapons that dropped in this game today, but unfortunately, it's all locked behind supply drops, and they'll probably rotate them through the contracts later on, I'm not really sure, so, you know, for right now, all we know is that they are locked behind the supply drops, which is really shitty, in my opinion, so we're going to talk about that. I do have to give a huge shout out to Zach for letting me use his account, I tried to get the new weapon on my account and I couldn't get them because they're locked behind the drops I spent a good chunk of money and guys just don't do that just you know just if you have drops or earn drops just use those but yeah so thank you to Zach for letting me use his account so I could you know use his drops and see what I could get and luckily I got one you know it's one but whatever but we're going to use the Bliskavitska and we're going to you know just see how it is i'm gonna do all new weapon videos this week so like we're gonna have bo4 weapons world war ii weapons all that good stuff so i hope you guys do enjoy if you guys do make sure you guys leave a like down below subscribe turn on notifications use code foxy on gfield.com for 10 percent off your order and without further ado let's go bro so this new weapon uh thank you well, once again thank you to zach for letting me use his account so this new weapon is an SMG. There's two SMGs, this being one of them. Oh, wow. Okay. And then there's also a brand new sniper rifle, assault rifle, and I'm pretty sure that there is a light machine gun. So there's five new weapons in total. Let me switch my settings. And this weapon doesn't have any recoil. The Buskavitsa is, uh, it's pretty insane. Uh, apparently has no recoil, so if we... Dude, what the fuck? Dude, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> still, still, this game is still ruled by fire shotguns, apparently. And then this was a big surprise today. They launched Call of Duty World War II uh, with new weapons, and then they also launched Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with some new weapons as well. And, dude, holy shit, is my controller broken? Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Dude, this kid with a shotgun, bro. Leave me. Like, go away. Go away. No one wants you here. Okay, there's two. No, dude! Oh, my God. This is so annoying. Holy shit. This is why I don't play this game. <laughs> but, yeah, man. So, let's talk about this. So, there's no, like, there's no collections for these weapons. And that's pretty shitty, in my opinion. That, that really ruins it for me. Like... Like, honestly, it really ruined it for me. When I realized there were no collections or anything for these weapons, I was like, okay, so hold on. Why the fuck are we just letting, like, why is all this stuff going non-consumer friendly? Like, everyone really, really liked the supply drops in World War II. Everyone pretty much did, for the most part. I had some, you know, different opinions about it because of the variants and them being locked behind the drops and things like that. But for the most part, you could unlock every single weapon pretty easily in this game and I wasn't tripping about it because you know even if you couldn't get heroic variants you know you could still get the weapon itself and that's okay but now it's not even that you have to rely on the supply drops it's like black ops 3 now like I said before there's a lot of um there's a lot of speculation around the fact that we might be able to use the contracts that are in the headquarters and we'll be able to you know buy contracts in order to obtain the new DLC weapons because that's how the DLC weapons currently work like you know the past DLC weapons like today uh, the contract for the Nambu type 2 is available in the headquarters but I don't know how long it's going to take for them to implement the new DLC weapons into those contracts so my thought process is like what is going on and why isn't there a collection for all these weapons it's just it's really bad dude it's just so anti-consumer, and everybody that that was like super pumped about these weapons, it now is let down because they're just like, oh, well, it's not like the old system. It's like the Treyarch system. I'm, that's what I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna call it the Treyarch system because that's basically what it is. People are saying that Black Ops 4 is even worse than with the microtransactions. Apparently, I spent about like eighty dollars on this game, and I never thought I would ever have to spend money on World War II in order to get the content that's in this game because World War II has always been so consumer friendly. But it just. Oh. It got it got me this time. I because I because I knew that a lot of you guys would love to see these weapons, considering that you know World War II is a game that I 
got, you know, you could say I got, you know, popular on World War II. And, you know, it's it's because of you guys, man. And I know that a lot of you guys miss my World War II videos. And I just wanted to uh, give you guys some new content. Because Black Ops 4 doesn't have that much content. And they dropped five weapons today, which is nice. But a lot of those weapons are literally ported from BO3. The Locust, the Peacekeeper, etc. Please run away, run away, run away. And I know you guys would really like to see new content. But, I mean, I'm going to do my best to you know put out new content on all the bit on all the weapons and things like that so if you guys get the new weapons or anything like that and you guys can let me use your account maybe if i can't get the new weapons let me know down in the comments um if you guys do have one of the new weapons in world war ii what is your favorite new weapon this smg doesn't have any recoil which is pretty insane actually it's just the, the iron sights just aren't that great, in my opinion. But that's okay. It reminds me a lot of the grease gun. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck, dude. Ah. Oh, my. Stop using the shotgun, you little bastard. Oh, man. feeling he's just laying down over here. Yep, there he is. One. Are they all just like sitting in the back? I'm gonna check to see if I can get anybody that's over here. Double kill. Nope, okay. Yeah, this thing has no recoil. It's pretty good. It's it's pretty fast firing SMG with no recoil. It's got like the same gun sound as uh something else, so I can't remember what gun it is, but it's like I can't remember what yeah, I can't remember what gun has the same sound as this. But it's got the same sound as like oh, it's it's the same gun sound as as the ESP like 44 or something like that. The the last SMG that they gave us. It's like yeah, it's just got like a beefier a little bit beefier of a tone to it. Oh yeah, that's it's like the same exact sound. Wow. Okay. Oh, come on. And you know what's really crazy? Apparently, in World War II, there was a bug that didn't put the... I don't know. There was just a bug that made sure that the new weapons were not in the supply drops. Or it was harder to get them in the supply drops, you know? And even though that's, like, the only way we can fucking get them right now. But there was a bug for that. How is there a bug for that when the past seven, eight months, you know, you've had to work on this shit? You know, that's what I'm saying. And like, I, if the if the rumors are true about them kind of closing shop and not being a lead developer anymore, and them just being a, a side developer or a support dev for Treyarch's t uh, BO5 that's coming out in 2020, you know, th that's that's one thing. But like at the same time, dude, like there hasn't been new content in World War II for months. Months! And I get it, they were probably working on the next game. Okay, I understand. But there's not just one or two guys that are working on uh, World War II on the side. They even confirmed that they were looking to support World War II if people were continuing to play the game and things like that. So, uh, what I don't understand is why... So, my question is, why are there so many bugs? Or why was there a bug in the supply drops? I wasted 80 bucks. And I had a good amount of supply drops, too. Like, I had, like, a decent amount. I had an assault rifle bribe that was, you know, that shouldn't have... Like, I shouldn't have lost all that shit, honestly. I had a decent amount of supply drops, and I had to go buy drops, and I didn't get shit. And then, I, and then thankfully for Zach, I hopped on his account and, you know, got some stuff from that. But it's just, it's so, it's so weird. It's so crazy. It's such bullshit, in my opinion. But it makes sense, you know, if, uh, if Treyarch and, um, Sledgehammer Games are working on the next COD, that, you know, I guess Sledgehammer's gonna follow Treyarch's steps in the microtransaction category. It's fucking ridiculous. Sorry, I might sound bitter and upset because i wasted money and like rightfully so you know that's not my fault that's my fault but like i i don't mind if i waste money because the rng sucks i mean like i get pissed off about that but i wouldn't be so mad about it if there was not a bug we're on uss alexis texas and uh so i, I do i do want to say this because i don't want you guys thinking i'm always pissed off about this stuff honestly if we're, if we're being real right now i was ju i'm just really bummed out and it's like this every update every big update we get i get i get bummed out dude 
Like, I don't know why. Why is it that on every fucking update we have for Call of Duty now, I'm always bummed out. I wasn't bummed out when I was playing World War II. We always got really good content, we got plenty of it, and they were dope events. But now, for BO4 and shit, dude, I just get bummed out. And then this, I definitely, like, when when they said that they were dropping new weapons on BO4, I was, I mean, uh, on uh, World War II, I was like, oh, bet, I'm just gonna play World War II then. I'm not, I don't want to deal with uh, Black Ops 4. I don't want to deal with those microtransactions. And now they're in this game, dude. They're, and it's, it's not the, it's not the collections, you know, thing anymore. It's this fucking awful system of RNG loot. And it's fucking terrible, dude. I really hope that Modern Warfare doesn't have RNG loot in it. I just hope we can just buy things straight up. It's just fucking bad, dude. And it bums me out because I, like, at first, you know, I was super excited. I was like, bet, like, we're gonna be able to get, you know, some new content in World War II, we're gonna be able to, you know, um, use new weapons, we got five new weapons to choose from, oh, that was a nice nade, and we're gonna have plenty of guns to choose from and play with throughout the week, you know, even in, even if we can't do much in BO4, you know, we'll be able to do a, a little bit in uh, World War II, but no, we can't, because they wanna lock it behind RNG loot, and it's fucking annoying, man, god, I'm sorry, like, I... I hate being so negative. I don't want to be really negative. I'd love to know where my reticle is. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it's it's so frustrating. Oh my. No, dude, fuck. Dude, this gun's insane. This gun's really good. But yeah, man, like, I, I, you guys know, when I get pumped and I get excited, I get excited. And, like, I like this new stuff that comes out because I, I want to think that Call of Duty, you know, I like playing Call of Duty. I, I, li I like, you know, the new content that comes out. But when they fuck it up, man, it's just so, it's, it's a bummer. It's a bummer, man. And it's, it's, it's real shitty, too, because a lot of people look at World War II as, you know, one of the games that has, like, the best microtransactions in it for Call of Duty. Now, I look at Modern Warfare Remastered for that scenario, but at the same time, man, like, it's still, I don't know, it's upsetting. And it's, it's a bummer because, you know, you get pumped up for this content, all of us do, as me as a content creator trying to make the content for you, and things like that, and... Then they just like they fuck it up somehow. It's always one step forward, three steps back. Like fucking fucking TKO. These knives only spent five hundred dollars in order to get the ballistic knife in fucking Black Ops Four. That's fucking ridiculous, and it needs to change. Zach, thank you so much for letting me use your account. I do appreciate it. I don't want to play too much because I need to get this video out. But thank you so much. Um, let me know what you guys think about the whole supply drops and microtransactions thing in Black Ops Four, and then also with this this shit in World War II because I'm sure they'll add these new weapons to the contracts that are available in the headquarters but I don't know man like it's just it's fucking insane man I'm just tired of it I'm tired of the greed oh I'll be live on Twitch tonight come check me out I'll, we'll, we'll probably play Black Ops 4 because you know I'll, I want to grind some crates or whatever so yeah um we'll, we'll be we'll be live on Twitch tonight so make sure you guys come stop by and say hi all that good stuff and I'll see you guys either in the stream or tomorrow in tomorrow's video possibly come on